Hey everyone, welcome back to Figure Fantasy. So today we'll be talking about your Frost team compositions and most likely where they are going to excel in the content of the game. Okay, so let's start off with um, your front line, which is most likely going to be Crusos because most of your Frost units do belong in Tenma. So I'm going to create this team based on a Tenma theme. So Krosos is your main um, defender, definitely. Um, your next defender, I'm um, just going to keep this uh, kind of free-to-play friendly. Your next defender is going to be Sapphire. But if you do have Megan, of course, you can definitely use her. I just put her on the alternate just in case um, um, people don't have Megan yet at a high level. Sapphire will definitely do for your team. So those are your two... Um, your two, what do you call this? Your two main defenders. As for your healer, guys, you will be depending so much on Zephyr for your Frost team. Uh, Zephyr has a little bit of Frost uh, in her skills, especially in her ultimate. So it's at level two. So you have to unlock this to unlock her Frost because this is the only Frost ability that she has. So increase the amount of health restored by 10% and energy to 20%. Also frosts two random enemies for five seconds. So those are just for me. If you're if you have you know if you encounter a small team of five, this would be good. But if you encounter a lot, let's say for example nine or eight enemies, this this will be just a small factor. But definitely Zephyr is uh your is your healer for this team. Then for your main baddies for frost um. Uh, your main baddie here is going to be Vazruin. So Vazruin, um, gonna take you through her um, skills. She needs some, she needs somebody to to apply frost so that she can deal lots of damage. So in her ultimate, so attacks all enemies, deals great amount of damage to them, boosts damage by 10%, attacks enemies that are frosted, deals extra frost damage. So And also for level 3, this is also uh, needed. Though it boosts now up to 15% and grants 30% chance to freeze the enemy's hit for 2 seconds. So I'm just going to go back to to what frost is so the lower the frost resists the higher the amount of frost damage taken so what's more defense will be ignored when taking frost damage so those are basically the benefits of uh, dealing frost damage so again she will be your main damage dealer for um this team your other frost baddie is going to be is going to belong to um galatea which is usuke so let's take a look at his uh, his kit so for him um frost this is actually just frost applying frost the other one is frost damage so Vazarwin completely deals a lot of frost damage while him, he basically just applies frost. So for frost, causes the target to lose health every second. This ignores defense as well. When frosted, target's attack speed will be reduced by 15%. Some figures attacks against the enemies that are frosted deal extra frost damage to them. So again, a lot of factors come in when you, when you do frost on them. Low, uh, lowers defense, lowers attack speed, and they receive more damage uh, with uh, with uh, the uh, frosted deals extra frost damage to them. Okay, so for him again, going back to um, Usuke, so boost damage. This is going to be his passive boost damage by ten percent has a hundred percent chance to freeze enemies that are frosted. So freezing um, keeps them, I think, immobile or unable to do things for a couple of seconds and boost damage by 15% extends the frozen state to three seconds so that is it for his passive for his uh, ultimate this one is going to be dealing um, damage so attacks all enemies has 75% chance to, to frost them for eight seconds so it's only 75% to apply frost and this will be adjusted by Osuke's uh, accuracy bonus. So you have to 
um, improve his accuracy to increase that 75%. So level 2 boosts damage by, by 10 grants a 100% chance to frost the enemy's kit. Okay, so at this point, it's 100% already. And level 3 is boost damage by, by 10 and reduce each his, uh, enemy's energy by 15. So for, for almost all of the combos, Usuke and Vazerwin will be your top to in bringing for your uh, frost lineups and another one so that usually rounds out your your uh, first five you have Usuke you have Vazerwin you have there as well um, you have Sapphire you have uh, Crusus and you have uh, Zephyr so th that's roughly around three uh, frost dealing characters or figures in that lineup but again for the alternate it's going to be sani so i, I by the way i was able to get Z sani's um new skin for christmas and uh, she actually fits christmas because she deals frost so but she brings reduce uh at level two she brings reduce all enemies frost resist by 25 percent until the battle ends so definitely if you have space in your in your roster uh, please do bring her because of this one and number three att attacks and frost all enemies for 12 seconds so this is going to be good as well but again um her handicap is basically uh with her ultimate because you will need to reach level three for you to maximize her that is why i'm leaving her out of the lineup that i'm doing um in a while but definitely she's going to be a good addition to your team because of mainly because of this one the frost resist uh decreased by 25 percent so this one for her ultimate um she is actually good already she can heal but again you need to maximize her output by this one the 20 percent and boost defense of teammates and healed uh healed by 30 percent uh, 35 percent for five seconds so again to maximize your value um out of her she needs to heal uh, sometimes you can actually swap her out or pair her with um with uh, zephyr to add more survivability but for this team i'm leaving her out because i've uh, i've noticed that she can't really heal that much without level three okay so ideally for for your frost team you're gonna be bringing uh them in um in your final battle um for frost teams right now uh, unless if they have lots of damage built within them um, they're not really built for 515. I'm um, gonna do this. I'm at level 12 right now. Okay, guys, so this is my team for Azazel. So, again, just want to recap this team. I have um, two healers, um, then you have one support for shield. Then you have uh, two defenders up front, namely Megan and Crusus. Then you have Zhao Yun as your vanguard. At the back, you have two DPS. You have Zarola, you have Vazerwin, and you have Asuki as well for your specialist um, trying to deal frost and damage as well. So that is my team. I was able to try this lineup with Erixia. Um, before I replaced her with uh, with Aoi, but definitely the shared health sometimes kills off your more squishy heroes or figures. That is why she's not here. I replaced her with Aoi. So this team is more stable in terms of handling waves of damage and surviving. And hopefully I could um, survive this and uh, they could survive and move on to stage five hopefully we could clear this one moving forward so we are at uh i think stage three and still we're good so be careful guys because sometimes the rng plays a lot of you know a lot of jokes on you and sometimes some runs are successful some runs are not so definitely try to do a rerun if if you can't finish a stage sometimes it goes in your favor um for this one and i did a lot of trial and error just to reach um stage five for this one so they're barely you know barely survived 
all of my figures. So we're now at stage five. So this is the last stage. So hopefully we can clear this one and survive the RNG. I'm not afraid of Azazel. I'm more afraid of the RNG that it would screw up everything that I have prepared for this team. So, so far, very good. Shields are up. HP is up. And we just have to wither this last couple of units that are in front of me. So, so far, so good. So far, so good. So, I think that's the last. The back. So, I think I'm... Oops. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say that this is good already, but... Hopefully, we're nearing the end of this and we can clear this one. Even if I lost some, I think this is doable already. Okay, so that is it, guys, for Azazel. So, stage cleared. Perfect clear. Five waves. So, that's it. That's it for your Frost team. So, hopefully, I've given you enough, you know, convincing on where to use your Frost team. So thank you guys for staying this far. So uh, please do subscribe if uh, if you're still here, still here, and do consider because this helps my channel a lot. Also, guys, don't don't forget to click that bell icon. Thank you guys. Stay safe. Take care. This is the warden, and I'm out of here.